Good morning everyone. It's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess. Uh, today is Friday, yay, uh, the 9th of August. Um, before I get into the readings, I just want to check some dates because I gave everybody dates and I, I have had a lot of response to Bathurst. So um, this Sunday we're doing a Facebook Live. I will start at 9 um, Australian time, so that's the 11th of February. I may stay on a bit longer because I've stayed on, I think, an hour and a half last time. So I'll see how I'm going. Um, and I know that some people have asked me to do some interactive talks around things. I'm just trying to work out how we get some sort of workshops going on here. But that is my intention going forward. Um, okay, so the 25th, I'm at Bathurst. I have had a bit of demand for this. So if you do want to come to Bathurst, let me know and I'll um, send you the organisers' details because they like the bookings to come through them. On the 31st, I'm at Captain's Flat, which is near Canberra. Um, so that's all of the readings then for August or all the fairs for August. Um, the 8th of September, um, I'm at Club Marconi at Bosley Park. So if you're in that area um, on the 8th, you can catch me for a reading there. I do get very busy there too, so please make sure you get in quickly. And the 14th and 15th, I'm at Kudamandra, but I'll be taking my own bookings there. So um, a few people have asked about that one, but um, you can contact me directly for Kudamandra. Alrighty, oh phew, <laughs> that takes me through to the end of September, um, the, I think the, round about the 16th of September, I'm away on holidays for a week, but I want to do a couple of sessions while I'm away, so we're going to do from the pool sessions, so maybe some talkbacks then, but that's planned, that's in the making. Alrighty, let's see what's cracking for Friday the 9th of August. Oh, look, I have my real, my normal shadow scapes deck. So it came through. Thanks for the donations, people, because this is what I do with the money I get. Um, I had a little deck and it was just too small. And it's such beautiful pictures. So I've actually bought the full size deck now. So look at that. Very excited about that. And even more excited that the Ten of Pentacles has come straight out. That's so beautiful. So the Ten of Pentacles um, talks about having everything where you need it to be. Now the Ten is the close of a cycle, so we must make that clear you are closing something out, but you're closing something out that's really good. Now that can be that you're closing out a cycle around your finances. It could be that you have just walked into another role, another job. Um, you may have just finished uni or sort of TAFE or whatever you do, college. Um, and you are now coming into a new time here. Now, the Ten of Swords is right behind that, so that doesn't come without complete pain. We do have the King of Cups behind that and the Nine of Swords. So, okay, I want to say to you, there is some sort of closing out of something here in order to bring you in some sort of abundant feeling. Now, this situation is coming and bringing in the end of some sort of negative cycle here. I feel like a King of Cups is instrumental in this. Somebody you've been worrying about here. Maybe you're about to get a message from this person. It's like they end out a negative cycle for you in order to bring in something positive. So it could be, for example, that they're offering you something in the way of a more permanent relationship but this in turn helps you close down this negativity that perhaps you've been carrying for a while. But we'll see how that pans out when we do the reading. But that's what it feels like to me. It's sort of like on the one hand you end out something, but on the other hand you're gifted with something more valuable. Okie dokie. Six of Wands coming out first. Very nice. So we have the victory card here. Look how beautiful. See, him? see these cards so much better in the bigger ones. Look at that. So this is the card of victory, public recognition, public acclaim, being seen. I always think it's that card of being seen. Finally, someone sees me. Temperance coming in next. So we are talking about divine timing, the timing being right now to move forward on something. Something that you're going to have great victory in. 
Okay, Ten of Wands coming in. So this is the third ten we've had here already. So there is a definite closing out of things that no longer serve you. And my darlings, you can put this burden down now. So whatever you've been carrying around with you for a long time, you are about to put it down. There's such a feeling of relief with this card too. And then we have the Emperor. So for some of you, this is you finally start standing in your power. Look how handsome this guy is. Look at him. Um, sometimes this is you coming into your own power. Um, but a lot of the time it's about somebody else coming in that is perhaps... Oh, they're saying bring in your power to you, but I don't think it's like that. I think it's like somebody is coming in that's helping you to understand or to regain or take back your own power. So if it's someone coming in to close off a negative cycle, it could be someone coming in to give you closure. But we'll see. We do have the chariot here. So the chariot, of course, is the card of the universe moving you forward. You've been stuck for a while. You've been stuck in some place for a while, wondering, waiting. Waiting for something to come in. There's a crab down here. So I know this is the card of cancer. And there's turtles on there, and that just makes me feel of, like, I love the turtles in Nemo. I have grandchildren, I watch those things. The Hey Dude. <laughs> I digress. Queen of Cups coming in here. So you're feeling absolutely in your element here. Life is feeling really, really good for you. It's like everything is in the right place here. You know, your intuition's on point. You're feeling love like you've never felt love before here. It's really beautiful. Six of Swords coming in. So we're talking about moving away now from things that no longer serve you. Right, well, this is making a whole lot of sense now on that mini read. So it's like something is coming in for you that is giving you the confidence and the power to move away from things that no longer serve you. Wow, someone has opened a gate here. Someone's opened a doorway for you. Um, interestingly enough, with the whole Lion's Gate thing at the moment, I really feel strongly like something is moving way to bring in so much more. And you have now the confidence and the strength to move through that door now and pick up what is rightfully yours. Okay, Five of Swords coming in here. So the Five of Swords can talk about conflict. So it could be that out of this, you know, um, situation comes some conflict. But I feel this is still you going backwards and forwards a little bit. Still not trusting the energy you're being given here. And that sort of makes sense with that whole Ten of Swords, Ten of Pentacles energy. Because it's like... You know, you feel like you're being given something, but something's being taken away. So I feel like you're getting this feeling of, you know, is this okay? Can I go with this now? I, look, with this emperor energy here, it's like, I know I can. You know, I'm the queen of cups here. I'm ready to go. But is it right? Like, I'm still getting that sort of conflicting, conflicting energy. Okay, and the Five of Wands coming out here as well. So Five of Wands, Five of Swords energy here. So wondering if it's the right time, the right place. You know, do you want to take this offer? Do you not take this offer? Real energy of this here. You're not trusting this. But the High Priestess is here. So the universe is saying, this is your ego holding you back that's doing this should I, shouldn't I thing. It is your ego holding you back here. You have an opportunity for something brand new coming in here. Whether this is love, whether this is a new opportunity in work, whatever it is, somebody is getting you across the line here. Somebody is offering you something to move you forward from this negative thinking into this abundance. There's a doorway here and you're about to pass through. But there's still your ego sitting here going, should I, shouldn't I? I need to have the full card. Where is the full card? I want to say to you, you need to take this leap of faith. You need to take this leap of faith. The universe is asking you here to trust what you are being offered here. Whatever it is for you, 
this is about to take you through a different doorway close down cycles move into the next energy of your life but i can't make you guys i can't make you do it but what i can do is read you an oracle card which might help you a little bit more so we have middle world here so oh how funny i opened on the lower world how funny is that <laughs> Okay, middle world. The middle world shows up when conditions are favourable to your undertaking. Do not hesitate. Move forward as heaven and earth are smiling upon you. The time is right, so be expedient, but mindful of not being reckless. The world is your playground and what would require great effort any other time can be accomplished with ease right now. So... Again, that beautiful oracle card comes in to say, this is right for you. It is time to move forward. You do have to seize the day, as it were. This opportunity is a great one. I don't think that you will not take it. But what I do want to say to you is, remember you have an ego. And remember your ego is there for good reason. But it's not there to stop you trusting what's in your heart, what's in your gut, what you want in life it's there because we've been taught to use it so that we take care and we have caution in what we do but it's not there to stop you from going forward on your path and taking up what rightly belongs to you have a fantastic day